Hello good people, Shitsun Sushu Emina. I hope you are good wherever you are and welcome to Film News. On this feature, we'll be focusing on everything South African box office and more. This week, there's a South African film coming to a film festival. Tyler Perry has a movie and the community is not happy. Bad Boys is still smashing box office numbers and Will Smith is celebrating. Let's get into the news. The Fix is the name of the South African thriller movie that will be released at the Chantanoga Film Festival. One might ask themselves why is the film being released at the film festival instead of the cinema? The reason for that is that film festivals are where filmmakers or emerging filmmakers get to meet other filmmakers, critics, distributors, marketers and other people who might in be interested in investing but i still ask myself why that is important so i had to have a chat with another filmmaker just to understand the film circuit is a quick into because you're competing it's everybody it's the best of the best of the world and there's no favors so if you're the best of the best then you stand out amongst the best it's like you know that's why filmmakers prefer to take their films over there and then before sharing it elsewhere, it, 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 it brings that honor to a film. Why is it important to you specifically? Because um, I feel like everyone has their own reasons. I just love film festivals because of know? the prestige, man. Just being where other great films broke and premiered, that's great for me. You get what I'm saying? To know that I, I, I went to Toronto and this is X film that was there and I'm on the same stage as them. Just seeing them as peers and seeing myself on the same level I think I am, that, that, that for me is more personal than anything, you know? In other news, Divorced in the Black is the Tyler Perry movie that's coming out on the 11th of July on Prime Video. Wow, thank you for inviting us. We actually used to come here all the time, right, Thomas? You don't hear her talking to you. You better get your wife, man. Ain't nobody gotta get me. Let's just order. I just want to have a nice night. After the release of the trailer, people took to social media to complain that Tyler Perry is basically telling the same story with different characters. And you are home now, and you are safe. No light in the dark. I tried everything. No peace to be found. You have taught me since I was a little girl to be a good wife. My question becomes, who is watching these movies? Because if people are watching, you give them what they want. You don't have to rewrite something new if people are watching anyway and you are making money. Why would I want to change the system if the system is working? The Bad Boys franchise has reached 1 billion US dollars in box office earnings worldwide. That means that Bad Boys 1, 2, Bad Boys for Life and Bad Boys Ride or Die have collectively earned 1 billion dollars. Will Smith took to social media or Instagram to celebrate and the celebration was on point. It's him and Martin Lawrence standing back to back facing to the other side. You understand? That's a cool picture. I like it. My question then becomes, would Eddie Murphy have made the Bad Boys franchise this amazing as Will Smith has? Because Martin Lawrence has countless of times said Eddie Murphy was the person he wanted to be on Bad Boys. If you don't know what to watch, there are still a few movies that are at the cinema. The first one is Imaginary Friends, and then there's Face Deep. The other one is Inside Out. The last one you can still try is Bad Boys Ride or Die. One last time. <laughs> Give me my keys. Hey! My bad. There's a movie that's coming out this week. The name of the movie is Girl You Know It's True. I'm usually not one to go watch biopics. I'm not a, a, a good person 
to watch biopics because I feel like real life and movies don't really mix well because you tend to miss some stories. To the number one song in America. Mm, they stole our song. Slow down. What's your business in this neighborhood? The producer had amazing music but didn't have the pop star look. So they had to find two people to pretend to be that one star. And I'm not looking for singers. I am looking for stars. I hope you got enough news and you have movies to keep you busy until next time. Remember to like, share and subscribe and tell me what you want to know about film news. Until next time. Isso.